So in the previous video we have discussed about macros in C. Macro is what? It's you can say a code or you can say it's a segment of code which would be replaced by its value. And we have used, uh, we have discussed two preprocessor commands to define macros. Hash define, one is hash define to define macro and one is hash undef to undefine the macro. You have defined using hash define, right? Now, everything about macros like why we use macros to define a constant, to define preprocessor variables and obviously to define some functions also. Macro can be used as function. That also we have discussed how to use those things with the help of the two or three programs in the previous video, right? Now, there are some predefined macros in C that you can use and some you can say conditional macros are also there, you know, some uh, preprocessor commands are there which are you can say conditional commands like if else, we use if else in our program, right, to check some condition. Same, we have some macros like hash, if, hash, else, those also we will discuss in this video, right? And all the predefined macros we will see with the help of a program I will show you on my laptop, right? Now let's see what are some predefined macros in C. See how to define our own macro that we have discussed in previous video using hash define and using hash undef you can undefine that macro. But in C we have some predefined macros also that you can directly use. Fine. Now, what are those macros? See, one is date in capital letter and before and after two underscore, two underscore are there. Another is time, one is file, line and one is stdc to check if the C compiler is according to NSI standard or not. Now, how to use these macros? Let me just show you that example. How to write this? If you want to print the current date according to your system from your system it will fetch the date so directly you can use like date and percentage s it will print it as a character literal or you can say as a string literal it will print date and after comma directly used two underscore then date two underscore and semicolon so in which format it will print the date this format month then date and then year right so suppose today is 25th of april so it will print like apr then 25th and then 2022 now if you want to print the current time you can simply write the time also it will print as a string literal so percentage s two underscore time two underscore that's it and it will print time in which format R, minute and second in this format. Same if you want to print like file, the name of this file. We have saved, obviously we saved uh, this file, uh, file name dot C. Suppose we have saved it using the file name predefined macro dot C. So now it will just you simply write two underscore f i l e file two underscore and that's it. It will it will print predefined macro dot c the file name. If you want to print the line number, simply you can write line percentage d line number is integer constant l i n e. It will print the line number of this line, right? And how to use that macro? ANSI percentage DSTDC. It will print like STDC if your C compiler is according to NSI ST standard or not. So it will print true or false. That's why we are using percentage D. It will like return one means true. Yes, your compiler is according to NSI C standard. Fine. So these are some predefined macros. Now let me show you the output how to use these the, these macros in our program. And some macros are other preprocessor commands are like uh, hash if def hash and if sorry if else hash elif it's else if right. See these hash if 
else if def these are something like we use if else statement in the program to check the condition but the difference is what these condition are tested after or you can say during the execution of the program right but if you use these conditional directives or macros then these are you know used to include or to skip a block of code based on the condition before the execution or even before the compilation of that program right suppose how, this is how we can use it like hash if def and i'm using here a macro simply you can say a macro and here you can use some code and and if right so if def means this this will return true if this macro has already been defined defined right then it will return true and then only we are going to enter into this these statements so it will tell the pre processor that just to process these lines or to include these lines in our program if in our source code if this macro is defined otherwise don't include this code in our source code right i hope you are getting my point fine same if also if to check some condition here you can write some expression if this expression is true then only we are going to enter into this if and after that you can write down else and one is hash if undef it will return true if the macro suppose i am here using macro if this macro is not defined then it will return true so if i write here some code right then this code would be executed if this macro is not being defined already in this case this code would be processed if this macro is already been defined if defined if not defined if not defined then it will return true if defined then it will return it will return to if it is defined right so these are some you can say conditional directives we can use right you can instruct the pre processor also like whether to include this particular block of code in our program or not while you are expanding the macro right and it will be done based on the condition you give right now let me just show you practical of these things how you can use this thing in our program so i have already created a file like predefined macro.c right and this is the program just simply we are using there is no rocket science in this program like so i have already written this program just to save the time printf we are printing date percentage s it will print the date in as a string literal in which format that i have told you then time simply use this as these are two underscore two underscore and after date also two underscore this you need to take care right same file then line number it will print and it will print sd uh, stdc according to the nsi standard or not now let me just run this and show you what output you will get here see see date is apr 25th 2022 time is 135342 like 13 means 1 it's 153 file name is predefined macro.c line number is the line number is 8 you can see the line number is 8 and nsi the standard this is yes the compiler is according to nsi standard so these are some predefined macros so you know c is very powerful language what you can do with the help of c as you can see here right so if you have any doubt like how to use these predefined macros or in these conditional macros you can write you can write down in comment section so now that is it for this video now i'll see you now in the next video till then bye bye take care